Hello and welcome to Tektronix. Today I'm going to demonstrate the digital voltmeter and frequency counter functionality of the MDO 3000 series mixed domain oscilloscope. The DVM can use any of the four analog scope inputs to feed the signal into a free running voltmeter with four digit precision or into a frequency counter with five digit precision. The DVM measurements are free running in relation to the scope's acquisition system, so its measurements are always updating even if the scope isn't actively acquiring data. For this demo, I'm using the MDO 3000's built-in AFG to generate the signals that will be measured by the DVM. I'm using the AFG to generate a 5 kHz, 100 mV peak-to-peak -peak sine wave with a 50 mV offset and acquiring it on channel 1. To activate the DVM, press the measure button, press the DVM soft key, and use the multipurpose knob A to change the DVM mode. Let's begin with AC RMS. Simply scroll down to the AC RMS option and the DVM will automatically measure and display the AC RMS value of the signal from the selected source. Similarly, to measure the DC level of the signal, simply scroll to the DC option in the menu. Here we measure exactly only the DC component or offset of the signal. To measure the AC and DC RMS value of the signal, Scroll once again to the option in the DVM menu. This function takes a true RMS measurement of the waveform, including the DC offset. The frequency counter can be accessed in the same way as the other options in the DVM. Press the DVM soft key and scroll down to frequency. This will measure the zero crossings of your signal and extract frequency information out of these measurements. The DVM also provides statistical information on its measurements showing the maximum and minimum measured values and a graphical range of measurements taken over a short period of time. The maximum value is indicated by a red flag, the minimum value is indicated by a green flag, and the current value is indicated by a yellow arrow. A gray bar shows the range of measurements taken within the last five seconds. This can be used as a measurement settling indicator because the bar will shrink down to nothing if the measurement hasn't changed in five seconds. Measurement statistics are shown in the right-hand corner of the DVM display. You can clear the DVM statistics by going to the DVM menu and then pressing the Reset DVM Statistics soft key. This will remove the maximum, minimum, and average values on the right side of the DVM display and replace them with the current value. The DVM and counter depend on the scope's triggering and scaling system to acquire an accurate measurement. For example, if you're measuring frequency and the trigger level is outside the waveform, the counter can't see the zero crossings and won't be able to calculate the frequency. Similarly, if you're making an RMS measurement and the vertical range is either too large or too small, the DVM can't make the measurement because the signal is either clipping or it has insufficient amplitude. You'll notice that changes in vertical scale also changes the DVM range. If the yellow current measurement arrow is visibly within the displayed range, the measurement will have the highest accuracy. Thank you for watching our video. If you'd like to learn more about